The magnetic flow meter has been around for a very long time and is a standard for measuring liquid flow in a pipe. Today, we are going to check out the Badger Meter M2000 magnetic flow meter. Coming up next on Tech Review. The M2000 magnetic flow meter is the most popular model of the Badger Meter ModMag series. This technology measures flow on conductive liquid applications, basically anything that's water-based. So, how does an electromagnetic flow meter work? All right. The principle of operation of an electric magnetic flow meter, or more commonly referred to as a mag meter, is based on Faraday's law, which states that the voltage induced across any conductor as it moves at right angles through a magnetic field is proportional to the velocity of the conductor. Ouch, that hurt my brain. How about you? Was that a little too technical? <sighs> All right, let's just walk through this a little bit slower this time. So, flash back to your fourth grade science class, and the project was to make an electromagnet. It was simply accomplished by wrapping a big nail with some copper wire and hooking it up to a lantern battery. I'm dating myself. And bingo, your nail became a magnet and you used it to pick up paper clips. Well, that's pretty similar in how we make the magnet for a mag meter. So, in this case, we take a pipe, we fill it full of water, we insert the ends of the two copper wires so they just make contact with the liquid so they're flush with the surface. We call these the electrodes, okay? And then we wrap around a bunch of copper wire on the outside of the pipe, apply some power to it, and voila, we have a magnet. Well, now this magnet creates a magnetic curtain across that pipe. Mm -hmm. And when the conductive liquid, water, hits this curtain at a right angle, it creates a small amount of current, which is monitored by the two electrodes. The faster the liquid flows through the magnetic curtain, the more current is generated. Since the current is proportional to the velocity of the liquid flow, we just factor in the pipe size to calculate the volumetric flow like gallons per minute. Mm -hmm. All right, now we know how it works. Let's take a look at the M2000 magnetic flow meter features. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, from top to bottom. The top. The transmitter can be intricately mounted, which means it's mounted on the top of the flow tube, or if you prefer, it can be remote. Now the bottom is the flow tube with flanges, and it's available in a variety of sizes and liner material. Now, for most water applications, you would use the rubber liner for process temperatures, say up to 178 degrees Fahrenheit. But for higher temperature applications, you can use the PTFE liner up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. You may also want to consider the PTF liner for chemically aggressive applications. Also note, the M2000 also has the infamous NSF61 certification for those drinking water compliance applications. The electrodes are made out of Alloyd C, which is the same club as Hastelloyd C. In addition, we'll also alert you when you have an empty pipe condition. The M2000 is available in sizes from a quarter of an inch to 54 inches with accuracies of 0.2%. And it's easy to program with a few buttons and offer quite a large digital display in just about any engineering unit that you want. It has 150 pound ANSI flanges, and as I indicated before, the transmitter is available in integral mount or remote. Now the power, standard power is 110, 220 VAC, or you can get the optional 24 volt VDC. It features digital and analog outputs, NEMA 4X enclosure with optional submersible remote transmitter. It can measure flow bi-directional, it has empty pipe detection, power loss totalization, has a non-volatile memory, a rotating cover, enhanced security options, and it also offers a few option kits such as data logging, store and restore, and firmware upgrades. 
In addition, it also has some optional communication features such as Heart, Profibus, and Modbus. The M2000 will tolerate a pretty tight pipe run, requiring only three pipe diameters after an elbow and two pipe diameters before the next elbow. Typical applications include a long list like chilled water, glycol, hot water, makeup water, and of course the more popular potable and domestic water. It's also big with fracking liquids, irrigation, raw sewage, waste activated sludge, raw activated sludge, mining, pulp and paper applications, boiler feed water, boiler blowdown water, condenser water, cooling tower water, chemicals, and the list goes on and on and on and on. The only thing you need to avoid is non-conductive liquids, like hydrocarbons or petroleum-based liquids. So, if it's water-based or it has at least five micromoles or more of conductivity, you're good to go. So, as you can see, the M2000 magnetic flow meter has a list of impressive features and is priced competitively. Hmm. Sounds like a great solution for your flow metering applications. Well, we'd like to thank you for watching our program today. For more information on the M2000 magnetic flow meter, you can visit our website, call us, drop us an email, or check out our show notes and links that are listed below. And if you enjoyed our program, I suggest that you subscribe to our channel. And as always, we would appreciate any suggestions of technology that we should include in this tech review program. This has been Brent Baird for Instruments Direct. We'll see you next time.